How do you use your platform of being a Slippery Rock student athlete to bring awareness to the issues regarding social and racial injustice? Uh, I just wanna make my voice heard. Uh, it's easy to stay in the dark and you know, have, having a mind filled with ideas and, and other things that you think help the cause, but uh, it's another thing to make your voice heard and to speak out on it. Uh, so I just, I try to be more than just you know an athlete, uh, more than just a student, and I try to make my voice heard as much as I can around the campus, whether that's speaking at uh, events or um, you know, just posting on my social media, things like that. Uh, just whatever I can to make my voice heard to educate. Um, I think it's, first of all, it's super big that we use our platform as not only football players and, you know, student athletes, but, you know, the following that we have because we get to touch so many people. Uh, I think it's important I do that through posting whenever I see there's controversy, you know, speaking my opinion. Uh, getting involved in the community, talking to my family, my friends, you know, classmates, teammates, just so the topic can be brought up and, you know, we can have that talk. I know it's a hard one, but it's something that needs to be addressed. Um, I just try to lead by example. So, like, just support what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong, um, whether that be um, having to speak out on social media about injustices or, or rather just um, kind of just, like I said, leading by example. I like to listen to my fellow teammates learn and ex uh, through their experiences so I can spread that uh, to the younger generations. So I would say being a Slipper Rock student athlete um, holds you to a higher pedestal in the community, especially being a minority student athlete um, and playing with teammates and interacting with people in the community that's not necessarily a minority, you can voice your opinion, um, voice how you feel to them, and just allow them to help understand your perspective of things so we can come together. I believe our platform will help a lot because people on campus look up to us as we're like this and that. And I believe our um, most social media platform helps because we have such a high following and everybody looks up to us, everybody sees what we post and we can repost them as well to help out the issue. Use my platform by you know, listening to, to my teammates, my brothers, and you know, trying to understand, you know, wh what they're looking for, and then I, I try to use that to educate my peers that you know don't really have a chance to be around, you know, a lot of people like we have on the team. Why do you believe it is important to vote in an election? Uh, you know, I, I think voting is an opportunity for change. You know, uh, you know, I think if you have the chance to vote, uh, you have the opportunity to change uh, different measures, and you know different things that you want to change in your community. So uh, being being able to vote and actually going out to vote, uh, it's just an opportunity to change things in your community that you think need change. Uh, I think it's important just because it's a way of expressing your voice. You know, we live in a world where we have a lot of freedoms and a lot of rights, and sometimes we take that for granted. But here, this is our chance to actually, you know, express our opinion and, you know, just have our voice heard for once. Um, I believe it's important, uh, not so much for the generation that you're in, but uh, younger generations, so like your kids and grandkids, because at the end of the day, democracy is slow, so you might not see the change, but you need to set up your um, later generations for, for, positive, for a positive future. I think it's important to vote in an election just because it's the best way to come about change, um, putting the right people in power. Um, I believe it is important to vote in an election because we we'll say it gives us the opportunity to create change. It might not be change that we may see immediately, but it will definitely be change that can impact our future generations and uh, generations after us. I believe it makes an impact on our society. I believe it brings everybody together. It makes us all as one and brings justice. Uh, it's important to vote in an election to be able to voice your opinion and have it be heard. What is your hope for the future of how we progress as a society? Uh, you know, as a society, I just, I'm optimistic and I'm hopeful that everyone's willing to learn. You know, everyone's willing to try to understand uh, people that come from different situations, different backgrounds, uh, so that history doesn't repeat itself. Um, if you don't learn uh, and then if you don't just try to progress, then everything will tend to repeat. So uh, I'm just hopeful and that everyone just tries to understand the next person. Uh, like a lot of people probably said, I'm optimistic. Uh, I grew up in a biracial household, you know, white, black, and I first experienced that the youth is where everything, is, you know, grows. And as long as we can bring the, you know, the uh, awareness and attention to the topic at a young age, 
I think we should be good because the youth is going to drive, you know, the future, not necessarily, you know, the people right now. I hope that things just kind of rapidly keep um, progressing as they, as obviously they have been. Um, of course, no, we're not nowhere near where we need to be yet, but um, I think we're taking steps in the right direction, and uh, I just hope to continue to see things um, progressing as they should be. I just hope that someday that we don't even have to go through this or even speak about it because it will be natural. As a society in the future, we not all won't like each other's opinion, or um, beliefs, but we can all come together as one and come to a mutual agreement and respect each other's beliefs. So I would say, I think everything is about just understanding each other and one will understand and respecting each other. You know, you don't always have to agree with the person or agree with how a person think or behave, but you can respect that person's ideals and come together as one future. I hope that everybody just views everybody as equals. And you know, there's there's not levels and people don't think they're better than others. I, I just hope everybody thinks that we're equal with each other.